All right, guys. So I finally finished my next course, and I listened to your poll answers and your Twitter answers, and created a React course. Another thing that contributed to my decision is that I have the modern JavaScript from the beginning course, which gets you up to the point where you should start to learn a framework. And then I also have the Mern stack front to back, which is a full stack React course that uses Node and Express and MongoDB, and it's it's a little too advanced for someone that just wants to learn React. Um, so this is kind of the middleman of those two courses, and I geared it towards both beginners and intermediate React developers. Okay, we're going to be looking at the context API in depth, which I think is one of the 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 um, you know something that that differentiates this course from a lot of other React courses that are out there, and we're also using Redux as well. So this course, I mean, I'm sorry, this price, just completely ignore this. I'm putting a coupon for $9.99 in the description. I want all my subscribers and viewers to get the lowest possible coupon price that I can create. So let's take a quick look here. So we have get, getting started where we're going to just talk about what React is. We're going to set up our environment. We're going to do a little ES6 refreshment. So things like arrow functions, destructuring, the spread operator, things that you need to understand to to use React. Um, and then we're going to create our application. We're going to look at the files that the CLI creates and look at how React works. We're going to look at components in JSX and uh, props, prop types, things like that. Then we'll move to looking at state. It'll start to get a little more advanced here. We'll talk about events, and this is where we implement the context API and we create a provider. Okay, and then any component that wants to use the context, we can create a consumer inside that component. Okay, so we'll also create a reducer so that we can basically manipulate the context state from any component we want. We're also going to be working with forms, controlled components, uncontrolled components, error checking. Uh, React router will be using version 4, lifecycle HTTP and deployment. So we'll we'll look at making get post put requests all to the JSON placeholder API. That's what we'll be using. And then we're also going to refactor uh, our, our request to use async await. Okay, and then we're going to deploy to GitHub Pages. Now, once we do that, we're going to take basically the same co core application and implement Redux. So you'll be able to compare and contrast context with Redux, and you can see, you know, which one you like better, or which cases you, you would use Redux, which cases you would use context. So we'll create a store. We'll create our uh, reducers, and or you know, actually, I have just one reducer in this project. But our actions file, things like that, and then we'll implement Redux Thunk. We'll make a synchronous request to JSON placeholder, and then finally we'll deploy to Apache. And then we have our final project, which is a more production-like project. It'll, it's over four hours long, as you can see, and this is a client panel project. It's actually the same app that we built in the Angular course. Just built in React and Redux. So if you took that Angular course and you want to learn about React, I think this is perfect because it shows you how to build the same application in a different framework. Okay, and we'll be using something called React Redux Firebase to kind of implement Firebase into our Redux store. And it'll have authentication. We'll be able to log in. We're going to create settings that will get saved in local storage. So there's quite a bit here. It's an, it's an 11 and a half hour course. So let's just quickly take a look at a couple things. Now, I didn't want in the learning sections. I didn't want to create just some sandbox application that didn't do anything. I wanted a full CRUD app. So this contact list here, you can see these contacts are actually coming from the JSON placeholder API, and we're storing. The everything inside of uh, a context provider, as you can see right here. So we have all our contacts. We have a dispatch action here that we can. Uh, it allows us to call from any consumer, and we can manipulate the state from there. And then we just have our contacts. If I go ahead and click this arrow, it'll change the state to show the the contact info. So we can toggle that. We can delete them. So it'll make a request to the API, and then we'll get the response, and we'll delete it from the DOM. We can edit. So if I just put a one here and update, you'll see that gets edited. Uh, we can also, of course, add contacts. So it's a simple application, but we're going to learn a lot as we move along. And then once we we're done with the context API, we're going to build the same thing in Redux. 
So here you can see I have the Redux tools open. It calls an action called get contacts, gets put in our state, and we can go ahead and delete. That'll call the delete contacts action, and you can see the state diff down here. Um, if we were to edit, we can see it calls get contact because it fetches it from the API, puts it, puts it in the form. We can go ahead and update, and it calls update contact, and you can see the diff down here. Okay, the name change. So you're going to learn a lot about both context and Redux. Now the final application is more of a production-like uh, app. So it's for like businesses that want to manage their clients or customers, and we have full authentication. Now up here you can see we can register, but I actually have a settings option to disable the registration because you may not want people to, to register with this app. But let's go ahead and log in here. And you'll see that we, we get directed to the this is the clients component and it has just a list of the clients and the, their balance has the uh, total of the balance up here. And then if we go to a details page, you can see their information. We can edit their balance. Notice this client owes no money. So this is green. If I go ahead and say they owe 500 and it'll format to the currency and it'll also change red because now they owe money. All right. So we can delete from here. We can edit the client from here. And if we go to, let's say, new, notice that we can add a balance here. So we could put a balance. If I go to settings, okay, we, so we have a settings page and I say disable balance on add. If I check that and I go back and try to add, now it's, it's grayed out. So we have a little settings page. This stuff gets, it gets saved to local storage. Um, if I want to disable the registration, I'll uncheck that and we'll log out. And now you can see we can't there's no there's no register link. And even if we try to go to slash register, it's not going to let us. So we're going to do a lot of access control, route protection, things like that. Okay, so you guys are going to learn a lot from this this course. Um, even if you already know React, uh, you'll learn more and you'll you know have fun building a couple projects. So again, I'm going to put a link in the description for just $9.99. Um, and, you know, YouTube ad revenue is basically going down the toilet. So this is the way that I support my family. So um, each and every one of you that purchase any courses of mine, I, I, I'm truly grateful uh, for that. So and obviously my $10 patrons will get this course free, just like all courses. Um, but that's it. Hopefully I see you guys in the course. And thanks for watching.